So, hello everyone. So today's video is about um finding zones. All right. So, all right. So we could go into it. We could get into it. All right. So the first thing I need for can do before I can read any chart is you need to find learn how to find zones, right? That's only the first thing. So zone, now what are zones really? A zone, a zone is re really where um the market bounces off a area with two different um color candles. Right, so I'm gonna try to put it in a simpler way. Right, so for instance, I have a green candle, I have a red candle, right? So anyway, you see the market bones off that year with a green candle and a red candle more than one times. That that is where it uh, aim to be considered as a zone. All right. So in case the explanation wasn't enough for you, so let me just um start. All right. So um, always remember this. You have um two type of zones. I have a major zone, I have a minor zone, right? So, alright, so for instance, let me find a quick one. Here. Here so is a zone, right? Why? Because we have the green candle bones in half that area, and we have the red candle bones in half that area. Alright? Find some other ones. Yeah, this. Well, a lot of them we can find, right? That's why on one the chart we tend to just find the major zones and just use them. Alright, so here so is also a zone. Why? Because we have more than we have the two color candles bouncing off that area, red, green, and we have more than one candles bouncing off that one area. Alright, so. That is also a zone. That is also a zone. Alright, I might wonder why I just mark the zones on top. Right, because in this year I was in a dungeon. So normally I know in a dungeon we don't look for selling opportunities, right? So we tend to put the um the the line, horizontal line above when we're looking for um the market to go down all right so let me draw some at the bottom now all right so for instance this area right here so it's also a zone we put it at the bottom so we can you can show that zones actually can be marked at the bottom here so it's also a zone Here it says also a zone. And here so it's also a zone. Alright. I find a couple more. Here it says also a zone. Zone. Ah uh, yes, it can be boring to you know. Be trying to find zones all day. Alright, and then you know why your chart will look like this. One bag of zone upon the chart. Right? So and most of them do not even serve much purpose. On it, right? Alright, so these are the 30 minutes to find the zones on. Right? So we'll find the zones on um another time frame. Also, so let's go on a 24 hour time frame. Oh. All right, so we'll find different zones on the 24 hour time frame. So the purple, I'll use the purple to represent the color on the 24 hour time frame. 
identifying our zones all right why this one the body actually burns off here and then you can see it push down right so it can be weak and it can be zone um the body right so for instance the bottom part here there and a lot more here here also and here also we are not going to spend all our time with such a try to identify zone because remember we just need the major zones right when the market is bones enough and not actually passing right so the chart is going to get kind of colorful <laughs> I try to find some high uh, red. So this is the four. I'm mean, just gonna find one zone by the four. Come now, I'm just gonna find a bugger zone like that. Alright, watch this now. Tell me where you pick up. Exactly. You have a zone here, right here, right here, right here, and the weak right here so that would most likely be a major zone why because we have a lot of years we can see all right for instance this is not just any type of zone right why right here so we see the market bones off a year and push up create a rejection towards this zone right here same way push up and I say just a create yeah, and then it come here so push up back come back here so close behind right here so close right here so again then it finally gain the strength to push down then as you can see it come back here so with a green candle again use a we can test this one and it just a continue and just a test it until it gains strength again it test it up here so again and there so it just bounce out there so again and as you can see you just keep on uh, right this year so now this would be considered a little minor zone because we have one set right here so we have another here so right and another here so and I keep on a test that here, right? So as you can see, market actually when market test back this zone right here, so in a break it not that so it can be a major zone also. And let's go find one and the one hour time frame, right? So we know we can show so you actually find zones on all the time frame. So let's see which color we want to use. Hmm. All right, blue. All right, well, I agree with blue too. Right here. Right here. Right. So this is how we find zones and the uh, chart, right? But you know how your chart looks. Huh? One bag of line, 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 line. That will become difficult after that time, right? Yeah, sure. So, alright. So, we'll go down to the 30 minute time frame and see if we can pick up any major zones, right? So, the major zone now, oh, we are going to find that are really the area where we see the market bounce have the most, right? And it hard for break. Alright, so watch this right here. So, we're going to highlight it to the Rectangle Alright, so you can carry go cross right here so. This here, is, here right here so can be classified as a major zone From 
ear to ear because look in this region the market it now break it really and if it do break it god bless little thing we can right so this can be a major zone of here so this can be a major zone also right here so um i'm bring up this just the area right because as you can see the market now break that area right now i really say now break that year because it tests the year multiple times before it break it right so look or even over here so same thing come back again the test back the year then you have to gain momentum to go through test back the year again come back down test back the year right? test it as test the year as you can see the candles are dead that is in this region because look at them now have no momentum in them right so can call it a major zone also I might see this probably pull back to here so and try to break through it also because it need momentum to break it right so that's that's the thing about finding a major zone it kinda easier to find and I don't want to really say easy, right? But just bear in mind that a major zone is anywhere where you see the market bounce off um that area multiple times without actually breaking until it actually break it, right? So the difference is yeah, a normal zone you know it break bounce off of that area, right? So that it would be a zone, but multiple times and different occasions you see the market bounce off that area look finds and here reject in the area bounce off the area reject the area watch this as it go come back on test what the area again it can't break it find strength break it come back still test what that area still test what you know it come right down here so still test what the area again and can't break it right you see you can look at the candles that are in here so my video scan will come back down here as I did say and then gain momentum for break it right so that's that's one way to look at it right all right so let's just erase how like this now ah uh, see chat look beautiful again now have anything on it all right so let us just try to put a major zone out of this just like that all right look at this here right here so um can bring this down a little all right there you can consider this as a major zone yes i can why look at this area Candles need strength to break this here so it come back down, come back down, actually I come back down, test it, go up, test it again, the same area go up and then it still have to come test it again just to gain strength to go up. Test it again, go up, test it, you know, and then look at these candles. These candles don't really make any sense right here, so I'm not a push to no region. Then it finally gains strength and it come back it test it right here so it go up again and it test it right here so come back down it test that same almost the same here because the major the major zone strength weight have gain momentum push down and so forth yeah and it just actually I try to do that watch this now got that here right here so um. Bum, bum, bum. You would consider this as a, a, a year with a major zone? Yes, I would. Why? The market never actually break the zone right here. So come down here, and the candles, them, them just dead off. Them go back. I you know the result of when it go up to this major zone right here. So, right? Same thing again, it come back, it test the year. Right, 
Just the year, you never actually break it. No, um, fix this. Yeah, test the year, you never actually break it. Right? Never actually break it. Just test the year. It go back up. Come back down, see me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really have to get into all of that, but hopefully, understand. Hopefully, understand all of that that I'm explaining. So, these can be classified as a major zones. And I'm going to repeat why I said that again because it tests the year more than one time. As you can see, look at the difference with the major zones and the regular zone. A regular zone just normally just go and it turn back, right? The major zone, multiple candles test the area, right? So right here, so we have a lot of zones, a lot of fine zones right here, so. Boom. All of them zones, they, they make up. I then make up the major zone, right? And then over here, so we still can find more zones again, but we don't really want to mark up the chart all over again, right? Same thing with inner this region, so bear in mind that so major zone is made up of multiple normal zones, if I can say that, right? So regular zones are normal zones. Alright, so that is it for the video. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, right? Alright, thanks. Yeah.